FIFA has been one of my favorite games, and FIFA and soccer have been in my life since I was a kid. I still listen to some music that I heard on FIFA 98 while my dad would try to be a ball hog with Zola. After FIFA 09, I took FIFA very seriously up until about FIFA 13 or 14 when I felt like the game was just trying to get me to spend money while the gameplay seemed to get worse with a lot of animations replacing a living ball on the pitch in my opinion. I stopped playing the game and only bought FIFA 20 as my last FIFA title. This year, they actually gave the PC players the same version as the consoles so i decided this is the year to try because if they don't change this year when they split from the fifa name then they will never change well this is how it went so after reading reviews i knew that there would probably be some bugs and there are i created my character in pro clubs and tried to load into a match after two errors i got in and was enjoying the gameplay of my super slow unathletic new character pro clubs currently gives you errors when trying to get into a match but it will work if you're patient they also added cross play now so you can play with ps5 and your xbox buddies which is awesome you can play ultimate team clubs kickoff co-op seasons but let's look at the big one now fifa ultimate team or ultimate team so i did not buy the hundred dollar version i do not plan on spending any money on ultimate team and the game doesn't feel too bad anymore there are some animation BS, some legs going through my body to steal the ball. But besides that, the game feels pretty fluid, which hasn't always been the case in other titles. Without spending money in Ultimate Team, I've came across people with the best players on their team already a weekend. And when this happens, it feels like my pretty decent team becomes children. I really feel like when there is a significant difference in player stats overall, they make the lesser team feel a bit worse overall to simulate the difference in skill. When I would lose in Ultimate Team, I have yet to feel like it was pure skill. Most goals felt like, well, they have 97 pace cards and Holland, so of course they win. It feels like they win just because my team feels like a three-star team in the kickoff mode, and he's playing with a five-star team with Messi. That's the best way I can describe it. So do I think that this is the best FIFA ever? No. But it's pretty good. You don't have to spend money if you don't want to. The gameplay overall is pretty smooth and fluid, which is a big deal to me. Can I ask who the hell thought it would be a good idea to press sprint twice and knock the ball on? What was wrong with the right stick? I want to feather my sprint, not just give the ball away. But I'll get used to it, I guess. Overall, I would recommend to pick this one up if you have been missing a football game like I have and want to play with your friends. I haven't tried the player career mode yet. But for online play, I think it's fun. Just don't be surprised when Tommy, who spends $100 on his team, can score some cheap goals in Ultimate Team. But you could also just play clubs or seasons instead. The introduction of women on the same team, Ultimate Team, it's a bit weird, but also kind of cool. It seems like the women can get bullied a bit. They get knocked down pretty easily, but they have significant skill. I think it will be good for women's soccer overall to become more popular i think it's cool also having so many more player options to choose from now with women on the pitch the game mode that i've been most excited to play is actually pro clubs because i get to play with my friends create our own people you're locked in your position or you play any and you control all the rest of the characters while your guy is also on the pitch leveling up your character is very fun and satisfying to create cool builds you can also create multiple builds so you can have multiple presets where if you want to be a goalkeeper you can set your guy up completely and constantly keep updating him so if your friends jump on you want to play goalkeeper you can play goalkeeper if you're a striker you can play striker you have all these different presets that you can switch to at any time and it's a very fun game mode you can drop in the matches before you have a club and then once you make or join a club you just need two people to start and if you can get enough people you can have 11 people that are locked into characters on the pitch which will be pretty sweet I also will play Ultimate Team, but for now, anytime my friends are on, that's the game mode that I personally want to play. The only reason that I wouldn't recommend this game to anyone is because there are pretty frequent crashes. I'm hoping that they fix this, but it's EA, so we'll see. If you are very competitive with this game, the defense animations and some of the offense animations in this game just ruin it. For example, Sly Tackling being overpowered, if you see that this guy will come from the right side of me be behind me somehow slide tackle and 
hit the ball, possibly going through my leg to hit the ball, quote-unquote, cleanly. And this is just the kind of ridiculousness that you will see every game multiple times. You get rewarded for running to someone and just slide tackling and then getting up and running and slide tackling again if they are in your vicinity and you miss. And that is just super unrealistic. And it's really just animations. I think animations are killing any modern title. If you're enjoying FC24, give the video a like. If you're deciding to get it now, I hope the video helped you. Comment below what you think about FC24. It's your boy, Hella Dubs. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.